I'm not even going to open my ideas book. See, it says ideas. <laughs> I have four rough drafts of my exaltation. Three is in here. One is on the computer at home. All of them were set. <laughs> Teacher Raquel did one. My reverend mother, Porter, did the eggs. <laughs> my evangelist took another portion yes, yes, yes. and then my bishop mother when she spoke took the one portion one. Yes, yes. so have a good day God bless you <laughs> 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 but you know in my Bible in my I have the new King James Nelson study Bible at home right. I don't really bring it because it's falling apart you know <laughs> but it's my favorite one yeah. and you know the rest of the Bibles when I read it it said um, it's what it's a word that it says in the beginning of the scripture of Titus 3 1 but in that one it says the word remind, remind. Yes, yes. it doesn't say these other words yes. it's not fancy it's not too eloquent. Yes. It just says remind. Yes. Sometimes we don't have to be eloquent. We just have to get the job done. Yes. And in this book, I was like, what's going on here, right? What's going on here, Archbishop? You know, making me have to do the exaltation. I thought she was going to hit me with a service like, woo. Yes. I caught it. I didn't. And it says remind them to be subject to rulers and authorities, to obey, to be ready for every good work. Every good work. Not some good works that we see in our favor. My elect Reverend Mother Machino said, there is nothing we can do to impress God. And that hit me so hard. Because all you ever hear is the least you do is precious in his sight. But now I got a better understanding of why. Because he's not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> he invented everything, he thought of everything, he know what you're gonna do, he knew you from you was born, he know how we're gonna die. Yeah. Yeah. He knows what he called you for. Yeah. You cannot impress him. No. So why, if you know you can't impress him, would we make the effort to impress man? Yeah. Mm. And worry about what they think mm. of us when we have to do what the Lord said to do. Yeah. I'm here to encourage the nine. Because even to the end, Sometimes we still like, but you sure me, Lord? Because I know this week. This week I found out, it broke my heart, because I found out finally why some mothers with children that has level two autism have them medicated all day. It broke my heart. Because this week my son was on one. That's a slang. When you hear someone say, oh, nah, he was on one, it means he was out of control. Yes. Yes. When I tell you, everybody had to get involved. Even Shiloh was trying to give me breaks <laughs> just to read. Right? So it broke my heart because I understood that. But I also understood that the enemy was going to try by any means necessary yes. to make me and the other eight doubt ourselves yes. and say, are you sure me, Lord? Yeah. What really are you looking at in me that you want me to be a minister of music? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm here to remind us that Titus was called for his character. Mm -hmm. And the Lord calls us for the characters, right? He was a good friend of Paul. Birds of a feather flock together. So we know Paul had strong characteristics, yeah, yeah. and obviously for them to mend so well, they had to have it. Yeah. My sister Terrell read yesterday how he greeted him and called him my son. Yeah. We don't see him doing that everywhere with everyone, yeah. but I'm telling you that is your characteristics yeah. is why the Lord has set you aside yeah. and saved you in order to do his good. Yeah. His good works, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. When we look at Titus, his characters, one of the, the, the um, most talked about things about him is what you said yesterday, how he was basically in charge, the organizer yeah. of the churches in Crete. Yeah. 
Did I say it right? Yeah. Yeah. You know these words. You know these words. You're trying to be fancy. But then when you read about him in other places, you find out he was more like a treasurer. Yes. Now to be a treasurer, you have to be trustworthy. Yes. 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 To be a treasurer means that someone puts deep trust in you. So for you to be called means the Lord is putting trust in you that when he calls you, you will do good works. Amen. Right? Yeah. Money is not a game. No. We just heard the testimony. It's, people don't play with their money. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for this man to be going around the place and collecting monies, because it wasn't only in Crete, Paul would send him. Yeah. Now that's the next level of trust. Because mm -hmm. I left you here to organize here. Mm -hmm. So I know how you're going to handle that money. We discussed that. Right. But now when I'm sending you to collect monies, I got to trust you yeah. that first of all, you're going to be honest with the amount you collected. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't have a cell phone right. that the person could have called and be like, hey, Paul, it's 20 million. Uh, Facts. He <laughs> coming. And then when he get there, was it 20 million? Because they said it's 20 million. He had to rely on him yeah. Mm -hmm. to be honest yes. so the Lord is looking at us and expecting of us to be honest in his good work Amen. right when I went further on looking into him and his characters I seen that he also had love if he didn't have love there's this scripture I have it on one of the rough drafts it's not on this one I think it's the one on the laptop where it talks about Paul actually not feeling fulfilled because Titus wasn't there at that location with him. Wow. That says a lot. Mm -hmm. That's like how I feel when my kids are at school sometimes. Like, this is boring. Yeah. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> you feel like, you know, sad. Like, I'm enjoying this, yeah, but it would have been better with Giovanni here. Yeah. Like when you watch an anime, who watches anime without Giovanni? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for someone to feel sad because the lack of your presence says a lot. Character. All of us, believe it or not, because sometimes I don't believe it, me and Sister Michelle was talking and I'm like, we are rough. We're rough around the edges. But then, you know, we sharpen up and we said, but you know what? The Lord would let us help and work with people who need rough love. And those who don't need rough love, we have other people here, our Sister Serena, our Reverend Mother, that's more, you know, loving. Mm -hmm. That's more calm. Mm -hmm. Everything under God's eyes is good. Mm -hmm. It just depends on how it decides yeah. to maneuver through this world. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let us continue to be good. Mm -hmm. Let us continue that anytime we might feel a little doubt, like, can I do this, Lord? Because it's still going to come. Mm -hmm. If we say it's not going to come, it's not the truth. Because we saw that he even came to Jesus mm -hmm. and even tried to offer him what was his. Mm -hmm. The biggest con man in the world would try to con him. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. I will give you this. But it's mine. Uh, I don't need you to give it to me. It's mine. I want you to know today, devil, that what I'm doing is for who's coming behind, not for you. Mm -hmm. Not for you to feel special. The restraint that I'm showing instead of kicking you when you fly down this mountain <laughs> is because later on, my children will read of this. Mm -hmm. We just learned of legacy. Yeah. Yeah. Let us always remember that we are officially a part of his legacy. Yeah. And the things that we impart to people that he will send to us is what brings them into the legacy. Yeah. And how our character is viewed by people around us is how they will view him. Amen. How Titus behave is how people viewed Paul. Because they knew that he brought him into the fold. Amen. We're not even getting into the verse about when he's there and he's like, even him who is uncircumcised. Because everything that you think is a negative, the Lord sees it as a positive. That is the power of testimony. We testify about the negative because that's how God gets the glory. Yeah. When the part comes that you say, and the Lord did this. Mm -hmm. So it was like this. You are a Gentile, Titus. He was a Gentile. Yes. One of the biggest Gentiles in the church. Because mm -hmm. you know, it wasn't originally for us. Mm -hmm. 
Well, if you didn't want Christ, I'm sorry for you. We'll take him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Titus took him and held on to the end. Mm -hmm. Let us hold on to the very end like he did. Mm -hmm. Let us remember when the elders always tell us this thing about the shovel. It's okay. It's okay for people to dig it up. Because when they dig it up, it's only for God's glory. Amen. When they dig it up, it's only for you to break it down to them how God got you through that. Amen. If you used to be poor in the street and somebody come, she used to be poor, you know. But yes, I was. Amen. And let me tell you what God did Amen. to bring me out of that poorness. Amen. This is my few words in Jesus' name.